Happy birthday, dear Wanda. Channel 4. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. On Channel 2, they're Scooby-Doo. Before we dig into this delicious cake, I'd like to say a few words, if I may. On Channel 9, there's Frankenstein. You know, Webster <laughs> defines wife as the female partner in marriage. Well, that... On Channel 10, there's Naked Man. Rodney! That, that hardly does justice to my Wanda. On Channel let's not... 80, a naked lady. <laughs> Rodney! <laughs> let's not... Be too hard on our old friend and Webster. something dirty on Channel 30. You're being rude to Mr. McPherson. But he's boring. So you're going to slow him down? Um, uh, because I doubt Shakespeare himself. The sooner you stop interrupting, the sooner he'll shut up and we can all have some cake. Could, uh... Gee, I guess you're right. Gee, I guess I am. Could, uh, find the words to capture my Wanda and so forth. Happy birthday. Let's see. I am going to kill you! Mrs. Mack, I am so sorry I'm late. Here you are, another year closer to death, and I don't even have a present. It's okay, Busy. I was having another fight with my mom's stupid boyfriend. Guy's a loser with a capital Lou. Sounds like a jerk. He's totally jerkified. Hello. Wanda, do you think it's a good idea to automatically take Busy's side? Darrow, I'm proud that she confides in me. Yeah, but we don't even know her mom's boyfriend. <laughs> You're just jealous because you've lost your rapport with teenage girls. So your name's Michelle, huh? Are you the Michelle the Beatles sing about? <laughs> I've got as much as I ever had. Oh, the E volume of your encyclopedia. I love things that start with E. Thank you, Megan. I had to take it back after the party. Well, I guess it's time to give you my present. Sorry it's so small. <laughs> A key? To what? Maybe everyone should just follow me. <laughs> what is it? The answer to your prayers. to a beige minivan. Now that's what I call a sharp ride. And the bulky ergonomic egg shape is a real gas saver. A minivan? A, a minivan. minivan. I know it seems awfully generous, but I wanted to show exactly how I felt about you. So, what do you think? Glad I ain't you. I'm home if she wants a Percocet. I thought you'd like a minivan. What? Were they out of wood-paneled station wagons? I would think how useful it'll be in the next few years, what with bake sales, school functions, soccer mom stuff. Tell me you didn't just say soccer mom. Huh? I know what you're trying to do to me. Why don't you just tie me to the couch and force me to watch the recipe network? Wanda, I don't understand you. Oh, there's a bulletin. Busy? I need to talk to Mrs. Mac. Is there something I can do? You can get Mrs. Mac! Busy? <laughs> I had another bite with my mom's stupid boyfriend. I hear you, Biz. I hear you. He's such a jerk. I know just what it's like to have some man think he knows what's best for you. He really has no idea. Uh, exactly. So exactly. <laughs> 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 okay, if I crash with you, you're the only woman around here who won't kill me in my sleep. would be phased out once non-sexual reproduction was perfected, but I thought it would take centuries, not a few days. I'm surprised how little we miss them. Miss who? <laughs> <laughs> who wants juice? Oh, I yeah, do. Yeah, you oh, yes. Yes. Water break, boss? Not yet, boy. Yeah. <sighs> Guess you're hungry, huh? Morning, 
Mr. Mac? Yeah! I spoke to her mom, and she said it was fine if Busy stayed here until things cooled off at home. Wanda, this is crazy. Since when are we running a halfway house for troubled youth? Ah, oh, I thought I smelled pancakes. Morning! Hi. Hey. I'm gonna go sneak some stuff out of my house while my mom's stupid boyfriend is still asleep. Good luck avoiding the jerk. Thanks. Bye, Mr. Mac. Sorry I saw your package. Oh, Daryl, could you take care of Zoe tonight? Busy and I are going out. I thought we were gonna watch bloopers and roll pennies. I know, but Busy really needs a friend right now. I'll be her friend. I hope I have the same relationship with Zoe when she's a teenager. I think Zoe might prefer you acted your age. Oh, stop it, Daryl. You're such an old man. Busy and I are going out tonight, and we're taking your car. Whew. Sorry about your life, guy. And then she has the nerve to call me an old man. I'm not even 30. I don't think she was referring to your numerical age so much as the way you make her feel. Now, what's that supposed to mean? You no longer excite her. You're set in your ways. Predictable. I'm not the least bit predictable. Oh, that's mature. Okay, that's it. Out. Should have gone with my first instinct. Look, I don't care what you or Wanda or anybody else says. I happen to believe that once you have a child, you have to stop acting like a child. And I don't think that makes me an old man. I think that makes me a man. There. I don't think that's on your little pad. Check your email. Okay, I'm impressed. Busy, I know you're going through a lot of heavy stuff right now, so if you want to talk, I'm here for you. <laughs> Mrs. Mac, don't go all very special Save by the bell on me. Oh, hey, I got you a birthday present. What is it? A friendship bracelet. See, I don't think of you as a mom. I think of you the same way I think of my friends. Hey, scumbuckets, get your narrow asses in the vehicle! Uh, Busy? Who are these people? This is Berkeley. What's up? And that's Amber and Sue. Hi, girls. I'm a dude, lady. It's S-I-O-U-X. His parents are hippies. So, like, who invited Florence Henderson? Shut it, whore. She's with me. Slut. Skag. Skank. Skis. So, like, Devin rode his motorcycle into a mailbox, and now he's, like, completely brain dead. So? So his party's off, duh. Bummer. We're here. Oh, team night. That looks fun. Yeah, I bet they got pizza pie and soda pop. Uh, Mrs. Mac, we're going there. But Waterpalooza is closed. Thank you, Professor Obvious. Hey, I thought I told you to dumpster the heinosity. Dad, what is it with you and Oldie McDusty Bones? She's my friend. You got it? My friend! You coming, Mrs. Mac? I'm coming. Oh, great. The dolphin tank is locked. Harsh! Total. So you want to chuck corn dogs at the Sea Life mural? Mail spelled backwards is a lame. Wait a minute. What are those? Portable breast pumps. Come on in! All right, right wow. deceptionator! Oh my god, I am dying! Like, so dying! I am dead. Busy. I don't think I should be here. Why not? Everyone likes you since you helped us break and enter. But I'm somebody's mother. See, that's your problem, Mrs. Mac. You let other people define who you are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Well, if you say so. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> They call her Wanda, Wanda, faster than lightning. No one you see is smarter than she. That was totally aquatic. Hey, where's Mrs. Mac? Maybe she drowned. We better get our story straight. <gasps> Okay, Wanda. Let's go, Sue. Okay, Dad. A boy named Sue. What did I do? How did Mr. Max sound on the phone? He was pretty upset. 
I'm sorry I got you into all this. Oh, no. Tonight was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. Except, you know, when the whale ate all those dolphins. No good church punks. Which one of these is yours? Those two. Both of them? That one's my wife. That one's crashing at my house. No wonder they don't know right from wrong. I have to come out here in the middle of the night, wake up Carl to watch Zoe. We said we were sorry. I'm very disappointed in both of you. Don't talk to us like we're children. Well, you're certainly acting like children. God, Mr. Mac, you sound just like my mom's stupid boyfriend. Hey! I want peep out of you, young lady. Peep. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Thanks for watching, Zoe. Ain't no problem, Daryl. They're home. Uh, you may want to flip that cushion. Shelby had a big gulp for dinner. Why did you bring your kids over? I wanted to teach them a lesson. Rodney, Megan, Shelby, take a good look at this picture. What do you see? Absence of discipline. And what else? Lack of a strong male figure. Exactly. Now do you see why I'm strict with you? Wow, it's all starting to make sense. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, Princess. Maybe you should be a little tougher on us. <laughs> now, you let me worry about that. Now, let's go home. Yes, sir! Thanks for helping me scare them straight, Chief. So then I get a call in the middle of the night that Wanda's been busted, and I gotta come bail her out. Babes behind bars, me likey. You know, Wanda's always had a wild side. If she keeps hanging out with our teenage babysitter, that spark could become a raging inferno. Ah, women need women friends. Take my wife. We used to fight all the time. Then she started hanging out with this nice gal down the street. Got her into weightlifting, ladies' professional golf, home repair. Now I get my Saturday nights to myself while they lock the door and play board games in the basement. <laughs> yep, we got a perfect marriage. All thanks to her special friend. So, going out tonight? Mm-hmm. Wanda, I think we need to have a talk. I know what you're going to say, Daryl, and you're absolutely right. I am? I haven't been acting my age lately. I'm a wife and a mother, and what I did last night was wrong. I'm sorry. Well, this is a welcome improvement. Okay, guys, I'm off to the library. I want to get a jump on next week's homework. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one benefiting from your guidance. Just pointing you ladies in a direction you would have found eventually. Well, Zoe and I are off to Melinda's. She's hosting a quilting bee. Oh, don't be late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carl was wrong. There is a strong male figure in this house. Zoe is a very lucky little girl. Grandpa buy it? Oh, yeah. I guess even angels can learn a lesson. Don't tell me this show doesn't have edge. Hey there, little man. Could you go get my wife? Your wife? Yeah, she's taking part in the quilting bee. What in Balzac's name are you talking about? Rodney! Stop talking to Mr. McPherson about where his wife may or may not be. But he's got this cockamamie notion that... Hey, you know that pie I said you couldn't have any of? <laughs> you can have some if you go eat it right now. Okay. Now, uh, what can I do for you? I need to ask Wanda where she keeps the dust buster. I had a little accident cleaning out the hole puncher. Oh, she's busy. Uh... Quilting? Yeah, that. So, uh, you go ahead home and I'll tell her to call you. But it may take a while because, um, our phone is broken. I'll get it. Oops, guess somebody Hello? fixed it. Oh, now I remember. I guess so. She's actually in the bathroom. Ah, done and done. Thing of beauty, Mel, you should have been there. Mommy, that was Mrs. McPherson. She wanted to know how the big cover-up was going. Melinda, what's going on? Uh, Wanda went out with Busy and her friends. What? She asked me to lie for her. I knew I'd get yelled at. She's got Zoe with her. I gotta go find him. Poor SOB. So where are we going? It's a surprise, but I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, this place is so Wanda. It's Wanda World. You're a very lucky little girl. 
Name me another mom who's so cool that teenagers like to hang out with her. You can't. There isn't one. Showtime! Ooh, this is spooky. Are we gonna sit in a circle and summon spirits? Hardly. Witchcraft is so two years ago. What's this for? Digging. Digging what? Dead people, duh. We're in a cemetery. Why would you dig up dead people? For their skulls? To decorate our lockers. That's horrible! Because of the maggots and stuff? Because it's wrong! Relax. I heard there are Polynesian people that build their houses out of bones. Or some, I think. You didn't mind trespassing last night, Miss Law Abiding McLawstein. This isn't wrong because it's against the law. It's wrong because humans don't dig up other humans. You're putting it down without even giving it a chance. Yeah, and everything's subjective. Who are you to dictate moral absolutes? Like, whoa! Deep. I'm someone who is a lot older than you and has a much better idea of what is and isn't proper behavior. <laughs> You sound exactly like my mom's stupid boyfriend. Don't you take that tone with me. But Wanda... It's Mrs. Mack to you, young lady, and there will be no grave robbing tonight. Come on, Biz. I want to get some knuckle bones for my keychain. Wanda? Daryl! What's going on here? They're about to do unspeakable things, and they won't listen to me. Maybe they'll listen to me. <gasps> What's he doing here? When I couldn't find you, I went by Busy's house and he asked to come along. He was at Busy's house? Him? Drew Carey? Busy, are you all right? Wow, you know Drew Carey? I know I'm all right. He's my mom's stupid boyfriend. Your mother and I were very worried about you. Why can't you just leave me alone, Drew? Because I care about you and I don't want you to make bad choices. And from the look of those shovels, you were about to make a very bad one indeed. Hey! What are you meddling kids doing? Zoinks! Like it's the creepy caretaker! Looks like our little talk will have to wait. Everyone in the van! Seatbelts! After that! Wow, I didn't know this thing had so much pickup. That's the V6 engine. We've got company. Hang on! Daryl, all this bumping around is upsetting Zoe! I'll fix that. <gasps> it's like floating on a cloud. All part of the luxury package. And check this out. What did you just... Ooh. Seat warmer. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got you. Like yikes! They're gaining on us! Uh -oh. Drew, we're gonna hit that gate! Not if my calculations are correct. Curse you, Drew Carey! Good thing a Freemason was buried near that gate. Wow, Drew. Like, how'd you know we'd make it? I remembered my high school geometry. Sure, sometimes it was tough hitting the books while my friends were out having fun, but today I have my own hit TV show. And what do they have? Nothing. Gee, Drew, maybe I have been going down the wrong path. I'm glad to hear you say that, Busy. Remember, without education and values, even a pretty girl can be pretty boring. This whole thing was my fault. All because I wanted to be a cool mom. Well, Wanda, no one can blame me for wanting to get down. But sometimes it's more important to sit down with your child and set limits. That's what I try to tell her. No, no, hold on, Daryl. This all started because you forgot Wanda was more than just a mom. Remember, to be a mother, a woman has to be a lover first. Heavy. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Drew, how did you become so wise? Well, most TV episodes wrap up with a valuable lesson. I, I guess I've been paying attention. Drew? Do you think it'd be okay if I moved back in? Busy, I think that would be great. Mr. Carey, could I ask you a question? Always happy to help the kids. Like, why is the sky? Uh, you mean, why is it blue? No, like, why is it? Well, that really doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to be the answer, man. What's a stupid question? I bet Frazier would know. Daryl, you want to take the wheel? I'm just going to hop out at that strip joint. 